to India TV. You're watching Health DNA. I'm Anshu Jay Singh, and today with us we have additional director of Fortis Hospital, Pulmonology Department, Dr. Mayank Saxena, and he's going to talk to us on this tuberculosis day. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, what is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is a kind of infection, and uh, it's a basically a bacteria. It's a bacteria that has a potential to spread via the breathing and airways and it gets into the lungs and get into a phase of kind of pneumonia and then it is a little tough infection to be cleared out from the body by itself so it sustain itself for a longer period of time it sometimes may you know uh, uh, get inside and get hidden and then can get reactivated at times so it's it's a kind of infection but it takes uh, time to detect it it is a tough infection so it takes time to treat around 6 to 8 months of treatment and it is very smart bacteria this bacteria has a potential to get uh, develop the resistance very uh, effectively so how to diagnose it what are the symptoms the symptoms the basic symptoms as we all know a cough for the 14 days a fever that is not going for 14 days or 2 weeks more than uh, symptoms with additional symptoms of weight loss loss of appetite feeling of lethargy they are the main symptoms which can hint towards a tuberculosis. To detect, we need a bacteriological diagnosis where we are seeing the bacteria basically itself. So uh, it depends on the organ system it is involving. So once if you are having these kind of symptoms, the patient has to visit the doctor. Doctor, according to the symptoms, may get your x-ray done, may get your uh, sputum test done, may get your all the required tests done to identify the organ. And accordingly, if like the lungs are involved, then the basic sputum test may help in diagnosing the tuberculosis. We have the advanced uh, tests like genetic test, gene expert and all that will help in further uh, uh, specifically diagnosing the tuberculosis effectively also. So it can be diagnosed easily, but yes, at times when it is a hidden inside the body, it may take several tests in fact, even the biopsies to diagnose the tuberculosis. Who are the people who are more at risk? So people who are little low on immunity, like the age groups, mm -hmm. we say extreme age groups, the child and the elderly, they are the more uh, uh, to, uh, prone to get tuberculosis. But apart from that, we are seeing with the corporate lifestyle, the uh, lifestyle schedule, diet, nutrition is all, all haywire. So even in fact, we are seeing patients from the corporate young setup also get, uh, getting tuberculosis who are little low on immunity. Third thing, patients who have comorbidities like diabetes, high diabetes or uh, like underlying cancer or who are undergoing any chemotherapy, cancer or steroid treatment, they are also prone to get the tuberculosis. So these are people prone and apart from that, people who are living in very close spaces, they may get cross infection from here and there, they are also more prone to get tuberculosis. So what is the treatment and how long does the treatment take? The easy part is it's a treatable, fully treatable condition. You have to just take six to eight months of treatment, it will be all fine. But yes, if the treatment is disinterrupted, it's not uh, like taken in a right manner or the doses are not adequate, then mm -hmm. I said the tuberculosis bacteria is a smart kind of bacteria. It can develop resistance at very ease. So we may end up in a situation which we call as multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, mm -hmm. MDR tuberculosis or even XDR, extreme drug resistance tuberculosis. So we have to be very careful once the patient is started on tuberculosis treatment. It, it, it is generally three to four tablets according to the weight. It has to be taken daily before breakfast, empty stomach and it has to be taken on the regular basis and we have to monitor the liver function test because the side effects can be there as it's a long duration mm -hmm. treatment so it's just a monitoring also that we require for the treatment related side effects also. so you just mentioned about side effects what are the common side effects that a person you know faces right so with any medication as we see the main these are gi upset the feeling of acidity feeling of uh, stomach fullness these are the first primary symptoms that we encounter in such patient other symptoms that can be there uh, which we carefully monitor is the liver function test because the tuberculosis medicines get metabolized through the liver and liver function may derange and it is a sign that we may have to change the treatment accordingly uh, then we may have to monitor the renal functions also sometimes though not regular but yes we do see if the patient is a little uh, borderline on the kidney functions and uh, 
also there are few symptoms that we have to see. There, there are two. Uh, if we say there are two types of symptoms, uh, tolerable and non-tolerable. Mm -hmm. So tolerable are like GA upset, and we can manage with the medicines. But they're, they're, the symptoms and enumerating like liver function, we have. They are the non-tolerable symptoms. We have okay. to correct it. Second symptom that is non-tolerable is the eye symptoms. The pe because one drug, ethambutol, have a potential to uh, affect the eyesight. So we monitor like if the patient complains of eye problem, then we have to check accordingly, mm -hmm. uh, and we may have to change the medications in the course. And other uh, tolerable side effects include the change in urine color to orange and all, but these are all normal side effects. So what's the difference between uh, latent tuberculosis and active tuberculosis? Right. So as I uh, earlier said also, this is a smart bacteria. I, I mean to say it is the smartest bacteria because it has a potential to enter inside the body mm -hmm. and it hide itself. It has a very smart mechanism to outplay our immunity. So our immunity may be not be able to detect it or fight it out. So it may hid itself in the cells, body cells, and once your immunity is down, it may re-emerge. So once it is hidden, we we might not be having any tuberculosis symptoms. So it will we call it as latent tuberculosis. That pa patient is having tuberculosis bacteria residing inside. And uh, you'll be surprised, many of our Indian uh, uh, people have a latent tuberculosis. And uh, when these patients, these people are started on steroids or uh, uh, gets into a diabetes or gets into a status where the immune uh, system goes down, they, these people uh, may turn out to be active flow in tuberculosis. So latent TB is also a problem. But yes, as of current guideline, we did, didn't need to uh, treat actively the latent tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. And active TB is a flor uh, florid TB like the, with the symptoms basically. So how prevalent is tuberculosis in India? Tuberculosis is a prevalent disease and it's like India is a high endemic zone for the mm. uh, country and uh, if we see uh, the, uh, it's the, the uh, enormity is rising. Mm. Yeah. So what if uh, you know, the person is taking the treatment but how that person should know that whether the treatment is working on him or her or not? So as I said the symptoms run, the, the uh, tuberculosis treatment runs for around six, six to eight months. So it's a slowly responsive disease. So the symptom response may be a very slow also. So sometimes it creates a doubt in the patient's mind, mm -hmm. whether I'm getting uh, treatment benefit or not, whether I'm, an, uh, I'm an, uh, on a right course or it is Absolutely. a wrong course of treatment I'm on. Okay. So many people do come up for the second opinions and mm. here, go here and there because the symptoms relief is low. But yes, these patients who are having fever, who are having extreme cough, they can monitor, they can chart down their fever for a period of time. And if the fever is gradually decreasing, the symptoms are gradually decreasing over the period of two weeks to three weeks, the symptoms mm -hmm. may take some time. Uh, weight is gaining up. So uh, the careful monitoring of the symptom may show up the benefit that is achieving from the tuberculosis treatment. Yeah. So it is important for the patient also to monitor this. But still, like if, if we say uh, the tuberculosis can coexist with some disease, mm -hmm. so sometimes the patient is not improving that much with the tuberculosis treatment, then we reassess the patient for the presence of either the drug resistance tuberculosis or in fact any comorbid condition. Sometimes lung cancer may coexist with tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. So we are treating tuberculosis blindly, we may miss the uh, other yeah. part of it. So it is important for the patient, for the doctors to monitor the symptoms gradually as the treatment is going on. So if I ask you about the tuberculosis and HIV, how they are like uh, connected and interconnected? As I say, HIV uh, is an immunosuppressive disease. As the tuberculosis bacteria is already smart enough to outplay your immunity, the immunity goes down further with the HIV and tuberculosis. If anyone is having latent tuberculosis or patient may be more prone to get the tuberculosis disease from here and there. Mm -hmm. Because we, we, may not, we may, might not be aware the people around us may be carrying tuberculosis, active, maybe on treatment or not. Mm -hmm. So sometimes like uh, even we see with the COVID infection, these are all respiratory infections. They have potential to spread very easily through the respiratory secretions, coughing and uh, in the close environment. So uh, these people are very much prone to get tuberculosis. Moreover, they are also prone to get uh, into a drug resistant status also, hmm. MDRTB. And further challenges that we see in HIV is a drug interaction because these people already are on uh, anti uh, uh, HIV drugs yes. and, and we have to add on the uh, tuberculosis drug. So there is always an interaction between some drugs. They may impact uh, each other's uh, uh, bioavailability. That is a concentration in the blood. But sir, is it curable in that case also? 
yes tuberculosis is like curable somebody who's co infected right. with the right no. so it's little tough but yes it is not that ki uh, tuberculosis is not treatable in even hiv it's though it's difficult but yes if appropriately treated the drug interactions are kept in mind the patients are monitored for that period of time for the symptoms even the uh, even the drug resistant tuberculosis becomes treatable so now if somebody has tuberculosis has been diagnosed with tuberculosis how can that person find out the center uh, nearest to that person for treatment first you have to consult your nearest family doctor or even the, your uh, nearest health center government mm -hmm. center so first take the consultation from the doctor then if the tuberculosis is coming up then even uh, you can uh, connect on google on in you can see on the google the presence of nearest dots center mm -hmm. basically so you can visit your uh, nearest dots tb center or nearest government facility the government is very much uh, determined to get tb eliminated uh, and eradicated so uh, 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 government take the help of government always if you have tuberculosis don't panic nearest visit the nearest uh, tuberculosis center the TV dot center and they will provide all kind of tests that are required they will provide all kind of medication if the diagnosis of tb tuberculosis is mm -hmm. confirmed what are the government entitlements that a person has the one who is suffering from tuberculosis yes. so tuberculosis i say is a expensive disease because the number mm -hmm. of medication required are high second thing the nutrition because what happens when the tuberculosis is confirmed in one case uh, the person may not be that fit to do even the jobs also so hmm. sometimes the employment gets at risk and sometimes the patient might not be continue up to the whole uh, his uh, like job profile what whatever he is doing uh, mainly uh, we see uh, in a lower economic uh, strata basically hmm. like laborers who are doing very high physical activity they may be so weak with the tuberculosis they might not be able to complete the task they are assigned to so they may lo lose a job also so government is coming up with a very good plan to support them around i think around 500 or 800 rupees a month they are uh, 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 entitled to uh, for the good diet and uh, protein rich diet and also they are provided with a free medications so it will save on the medications also and also from the uh, uh, nutrition part also and people who have any government panels like uh, employee state insurance esi they make a tie up with their esi dispensaries and all so they have further you know job saving plans also sometimes so that the job it's not at risk they are given uh, you know reimbursement for the job so they can always check your in panelments with the government the government agencies they will they are full heartedly there to support you so what are the complications of a poorly managed tuberculosis or probably untreated tuberculosis so first of all untreated tuberculosis has a potential to spread hmm. because it's a, a spreadable disease like we see in covid mm -hmm. persons family members also become at risk uh, 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 normally we see in untreated case sometimes two or three family members mm. coming up with the same symptoms showing up uh, mm. this uh, tuberculosis diagnosis so uh, spreading potential second thing is uh, the drug resistance as i said mdr and xdr status if un left untreated then we see plethora of complications with the untreated or poorly managed tuberculosis mm. ranging from blood coming out from mouth uh, uh, hemoptysis we say then even uh, the lungs get completely destroyed due to tuberculosis also sometime if its lungs become all uh, necrot all uh, destroyed up it is all like wounded lungs we say uh, uh, become uh, like you see a cavity in the tooth sometime mm -hmm. the cavity develops in the lungs also yes, with tuberculosis yes Uh, so uh, uh, then sometimes these cavities may rupture also causing air uh, lungs are like balloon they are mm. very delicate so, so if the balloon gets ruptured the balloon will deflate the lungs will deflate so we call it pneumothorax mm. so uh, and also uh, weight loss loss of energies and bed ridden status sometimes we may see with the tuberculosis also so the person who is suffering from tuberculosis how often should that person visit the doctor or, or how often the monitoring is required so it depends on patient to patient sometime if the patient is young tolerating well mm -hmm. we may call up like uh, as as a guideline say after 2 months of first initial starting of the treatment we may get the x ray chest x ray we may get the sputum mm -hmm. reanalysis done so mm -hmm. if the person is able to uh, you know uh, di uh, tolerate the medication well we may call up after first visit of 2 months 
Sometimes the patient is not tol tolerating well, then we may have to call up again and again to monitor the symptoms like if the liver function is going up, then even a weekly visit would be required. Sometimes we may have to admit the patient also. So what about the stigma attached to tuberculosis? Yes, this, is is a, this is a problem that I see in the society still today. Mm -hmm and uh, uh, the social stigma mainly i'll uh, enumerate the case scenarios where we mm -hmm. see this uh, this problem sure. and even uh, it may lead to interruption in treatment also sometimes the, okay. like uh, the people who are getting married like even the boys mm -hmm. or girls they may you know not uh, discuss with the other partner or other family members like they may be having tuberculosis and they Correct. tend to discontinue the treatment for the uh, for the sake of taboo that what other people will think of or uh, uh, like people People living in a close spaces like hostels or, uh, or close office uh, scenarios, they may not declare to the office that they may be having tuberculosis and that may further impact them because they may infect a uh, few more people uh, uh, in their uh, radar. So the social stigma needs to be under, it's a fully treatable disease, the patient needs mental support also. There is no point in, uh, uh, you know, uh, the patient who is on tuberculosis treatment is already on mental agony. So it's a, not a patient mistake per se, it's a fully treatable disease. We have to understand the patient situation and there should be no social stigma. Uh, it just spread by the spreading of secretions, the spreading of through the cough. So uh, if one is coughing, just few basic protocols that we have to see, not like COVID that we will be closing the room and will not mm. patient not be visiting up. So it just you have to cover your mouth with the uh, palm when you are coughing so that the secretions may not spread out or use your handkerchief, dispose your the phlegm or sputum that you are uh, coming out with in a proper way uh, uh, in a container and mm. throw it away and uh, uh, if the patient is having nearby like in, in his house any diabetic or any newborn or any infant so maintain the distance uh, like uh, young mothers loving their children uh, it it may have a spreading potential. Mm. So, uh, like otherwise, there is no contraindication of breastfeeding. There is no contraindication of uh, uh, eating, like uh, uh, someone sharing the food or something. So, it's not a problematic disease. But yes, maintaining a little social distancing from the uh, tuberculosis point of view, not like a COVID, it is generally required. So, what would be your message on tuberculosis? The tuberculosis bacteria was discovered in 1882 by Robert Cox, basically, on this day, 24th March. But even after 142 years, uh, we are not having any vaccine, we are not having any, you know, uh, 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 any preventive, sure shot preventive protocols. We do have a system for COVID. We have a very good vaccine now. Mm. For, you know, in, in, in fact, uh, uh, one year time we developed the vaccine. Okay. So yes, uh, it's, a, it's a disease that is smarter than COVID. It has to be dealt in a such a way from the government, doctors and the patient side and uh, system, uh, symptoms has to be monitored and yes, I would urge and request all the scientists and across the world, all the uh, people who are looking after tuberculosis part, just as we did in the COVID, developed the vaccine, let's hope that one vaccine will come one day and we would end this minutes of TB that is going on since, since centuries. On that note, sir. We will end the show and thank you so much for thank joining you. us today. It was thank a pleasure you. talking to you. Thank you so thank much. You so much.